Hello everyone, welcome back to ANG Family TV. ANG Family TV is where learning takes place. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit that post notification bell. Welcome to your daily dosage. Your daily dosage is where you get your spiritual breakfast to start you off for the day. Today, on your daily dosage, we will continue. We will continue on the topic exemplify christian principles yes exemplifying christian principles I give it to you, Lord, I give it to you, Lord, and do we thankfully, thankfully, every song I sing, every praise I sing, everything I do is a gift to you, everything I am, everything I am, everything I'll be. Everything I be, I give it to you, Lord. I give it to you, Lord, and do it thankfully, thankfully. Every song I sing, every praise I bring, everything I do is a gift to you. And so we look at the fruits of self control, parents. Every time you lose self-control and speak and act and act impatiently, you sin against God. The recording angel writes every impatient and guarded word spoken before them, carelessly or in jest. Every word that is not a chest and elevated be he marks as a, a spot against your Christian character. Oh Lord, the Holy Spirit help us. Speak kindly to your children. Remember how sensitive you are. How little you can bear to be blamed and do not lay upon them that which you cannot bear. For they are weaker than you and cannot endure as much. The fruits of self-control, thoughtfulness and painstaking on your path will be a hundredfold. Let your pleasant, cheerful words ever be like sunbeams in your family. If parents desire their children to be right and do right, they must be right themselves in theory or in practice. Again, parents, we and guardians, we have to practice what we preach. We have to practice what we preach. We cannot say do this or do that. When we are not doing it, we are not implementing, implementing it. We cannot leave it on them. We are their guardian. We are their parents. We are the adults here. There are children of Sabbath keepers who have been taught from their youth to observe the Sabbath. Some of these are very good children, faithful to duty as far as temporal matters are concerned, but they feel no deep conviction of sin and no need of repentance from sin. Such are in a dangerous condition. They are watching the deportment and efforts of professed Christians. They see some who make high professions, but who are not conscientious Christians, and they compare their own views and actions with these stumbling blocks. And as there are no outbreaking sins in their own lives, they flatter themselves that they are about right. It is because so many parents and teachers profess to believe the word of God while their lives deny its power that the teaching of the scripture has no greater effect upon the youth. Oh Lord. At times, the youth are brought to feel the power of the word. They see the preciousness of the love of Christ. They see the beauty of his character, the possibilities of a life given to his service. But in contrast, they see the life of those who profess to reserve God's respect, revere God's respect. Parents must say no to temptation. Mothers, by not following the principles of the world, you may set before your children an example of faithfulness to God. And so teach them to say no. Teach your children the meaning of the precept. If sinners entice thee, consent thou not. But if thou would have your children able to say no to temptation, you yourself must be able to say no. 
it is as needful for man to say no as for the child. Parents, be kind and gentle with your children and they will learn gentleness. They, we give what we have. And so if we don't have gentleness, we cannot produce it. We cannot give it. So let us be gentle. Let us give what we have and let us do what it takes to have it. It takes time. It takes time. But we can do it. We can make it through Christ. I can. You can. We can do all things through Christ. And so I implore us. Let us, let us, let, let us just start somewhere. Let us demonstrate in our homes that we are Christians. I value as worthless that profession that is not carried out in the home life in kindness and forbearance and love. Watch tone of voice as well as words. Let not one word of fretfulness, harshness, or passion escape your lips. And at times we worry, we fret, we say some things when we are in distress. This is not Christ-like. He's not expecting this of us. Let us humble ourselves at the foot of the cross and let us allow him to take full control of our lives. The grace of Christ awaits your demand. His spirit will take control of your heart and conscience, presiding over your words and deeds. Never forfeit your self-respect by hasty, thoughtless words. See that your words are pure, your conversation holy. Give your children an example of that which you wish them to be. Be the example. Let us try to be the example. Let there be peace, pleasant words, and cheerful countenances. Parents cannot with safety be in any way overbearing. They must not show a masterly criticizing, fault-finding spirit. The words they speak, the tone in which they speak, are lessons either for good or for ill to their children. Fathers and mothers, if cross words fall from your lips, you are teaching your children to speak in the same way. And the refining influence of the Holy Spirit is made of none effect. Patient continuance in well-doing is essential if you would do your duty to your children. Parents are God's agent in molding character. The intellects of your children are taking shape. The affections and characters are being molded. But after what pattern? After what pattern, parents? After what pattern they are being molded? Let the parents remember that they are agents in these transactions. And when they may be sleeping in the grave, their work left behind is enduring and will bear testimony of them, whether it is good or it is bad. You must instruct, warn, and counsel. Yes, we must instruct, we must warn, and we must counsel our children. That is our responsibility <clears throat> and so counsel ever remembering that your looks and words and actions have it a direct bearing upon the future course of your dear ones your work is not done to paint a form of beauty upon canvas or to chisel it from marble but to impress upon a human soul the image of the divine let us remember our purpose let us remember our duty, our responsibility, and let us carry it out solemnly. I know that it takes time for our characters to be shaped, but the Lord can do it through us. Will you, will I allow him to shape my character, your character, our character today? Father in heaven, I pray thee now that thou will speak to us as parents, help us to reach out to you so that we can be like parents of old we can be like the mother of mary the mother of jesus who brought up her child in the nurture and the admonition of the lord help us to do our part and do it well so we pray thee that you will instruct us and that you will teach us and that we will allow ourselves we will allow ourselves to be used by you and to be fashioned and to be molded by you keep us safe lord in your arms build our children i pray that whatever we have imparted to them that they will take it and that they will learn of you let your will be done lord in us and through us in jesus name amen
and amen thank you lord